Good afternoon, my name is Todd Covert from Health Angel. Thank you for joining us. Health Angel is like Ness for guiding and protecting the connected healthcare consumer. It's a family of applications connected to a single platform that turns your smartphone into a situationally intelligent healthcare angel. Every year, over 12 million people are misdiagnosed. Over 91,000 people die from preventable healthcare related errors. The challenge right now is our world is noisy. We don't know where to go. We don't know where to search. And what we're going to do is take the search out of healthcare. So using situational intelligence to guide and connect. So using specific, specific advanced geolocation triggers, situational dialogue with the consumer, <coughs> customized plans, docs, and histories with our back-end da database, and integrate a relevant partner utility to render and guide the patient. We cannot expect the patient to think anymore during a very emotional time. We need to deliver relevant recommendations and guidance to that patient. So the basic interface has profiles and plans, no more forgetting your insurance card, no more asking did your insurance change at the doctor. Your plans, your doctors, and your connect, connect in, connections will be a primary interface. However, the goal is to focus on the cost and quality of care. Through, co through cost variance, through quality variance, through misdiagnosis and overtreatment, to connecting patients with centers of excellence nationally and regionally. It's time that we connect the consumer with relevant in information and not have them have to search it out and look for it on a consistent basis. So we really want to protect, assist, and work with outside third-party solutions to connect the, those patients real-time with the appropriate software solutions, apps, and organizations that are out there because of our situational intelligence that we have. So our business model and our need is really through employers, carriers, care coordinating. Just think, if you could deliver your product exactly when somebody wanted it and when they needed it before you even knew it. And that's what we're doing with Health Angel. Thank you very much. Okay, I'm going to hand over to uh, Junkus, who would like to ask a question. My question, I didn't quite understand it, so it's uh, the patient creates a database of their own information on this, and then the, the app pulls back to them, or pushes back to them what they can do? Yeah, well, basically, the, the technology is geofencing. So what we're doing is, Every time an employee gets to a hospital, an urgent care facility, a primary care, after certain rules that we set up, length of time, location, we can deliver real-time recommendations to them. For example, if you're at your primary care, this health app will know you're at your primary care and can actually tell you how good your primary care doctor is, the quality of their care, their overall costs and outcomes. And the same thing with hospitals, helping people coordinate care, um, the big problem in healthcare, and I've been in the transparency world for four years, is there's a lot of great tools out there and nobody uses them. Because we as people aren't used to being consumers in healthcare. We've got to connect people with that without them having to think, because they're in a very emotional time at that point. You, talk, you mentioned about uh, like your, instead of, you know, when you go to a doctor's house and they ask for your, you know, insurance ID and the, you know this is a third party and they're not going to just willing to give you that information and keep a compliance you know education how do you walk through all that to get access to that information yeah really what we're setting it up on the back end is a lot of times through employers but it's there's no PI in there there's it's basically all plan design information that we're pulling on behalf of the employee with their credentials I mean they have to approve us pulling that information but 
it's think of a, a, a virtual healthcare wallet because we still need uh, the employee to want to use it.